What is up, people? Van from the Vanverse Gaming Channel here with another video on Mutineer Zero, very hard iron mutant mode. Like I say in the beginning of every video, if you want to purchase this game, click on the link in the description, use code MUTANT, and get a 10% discount to buy the game. And some of the proceeds go to benefit my channel, which is great for me and hopefully helps me to make more videos for you. So, in the last episode, it was pretty boring. We just kind of ran around and uh, kind of did the story, looted some stuff. We got back up to about four med kits right now. Everyone's full health. Um, we were able to do some upgrades. We picked up some good weapons. We got this wonderful thing that does some pretty decent damage. We got this beautiful thing right here. And then, of course, we still have this wonderful slinger thing right here. Uh, because of the 40% crit, I may end up giving this to her. Um, you can see this thing has a 15% uh, chance to crit on it, where this one has a 15% chance to crit on it. So at this point, this only shoots one. It does 12 damage, 14 crit damage. This thing does 12 crit damage, 40% chance to crit because of her. So let's do that. Um, let's actually swap this real quick. Other than that, you'll notice that I am running Magus, uh, Magnus and Pharaoh and Borman. Um, and with Pharaoh, I believe in this zone, we are currently in the Rot Warrens. Uh, I believe in this zone here, there's really only one, I think there's only like one med bot we have to deal with. Uh, the rest of them are going to be human, human. And then in the next area, it's really a tough, tough fight, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So... Hopefully you guys stay tuned after this episode for the second one where we go to the next area because it's a lot of fun. So this one hopefully should go smooth. There's not too many creatures in this one. Um, so I'm really hopeful we can knock it out pretty easily. But sometimes you just never know. Is this the thing she was talking about? Big hole in the ground. Entrance is nearby. I spent my whole life surviving the zone. But I've never seen anything like this. Is that a machine or a sleeping giant? See that Mimer sign? All of these machines were coming from one factory. Wonder if it's still around. Okay. EMP grenade. More scrappity scrap. Other than that, I don't think there's much back here. But we could always use the scrappity scrap. Made on very hard iron mutant mode, you're constantly wasting um, your scrap. But like if you play this on the regular mode, you don't even really you can always just keep reusing your abilities, so it's kinda no fun with that from that retrospect. All right. So let's get through this door here. Let's see what this zone has to offer. Uh, I always like to go right. Let's keep the going right thing. Uh, not much there. So let's go left. Yeah, I thought this was a small area, but I didn't realize exactly how small it was. Good lord. Oh, yes. I remember this one. This one's fun. We got to go. We get to go in like a cave. This one's fun. Somebody tore through these gates pretty bad. Damage is still fresh. What if they're down there waiting for us? This is I wish they had more of this type of um this type of area in this game. I mean, pretty much the whole game is outside. This is like the first and only zone where you're like inside and fighting. Like they have other ones, but you're not fighting. You're just inside. I do like this game where every character you take over has different opinions about everything you see. So depending on who you're controlling, what they say. Okay, so there's a big room down here, and there's a lot of them in it, but 
you can sneak around and get some of them. <laughs> okay, so here's that medbot. Um, I think we're okay with this one. Because what we can do is use Borman first. And then we'll just get as close as we possibly can with him. And then we have the... Um, the right there. Two to the EMP, and we got him on the first try. Uh... So, after this, we should be good. And then that Marauder only has four um, health, or 14 health, so we should be able to silent kill him after this. So we got two more rounds. Shouldn't be a problem. And we renewed it, so this will be easy. And I believe this is the only bot in the whole area, so we don't have to worry about bots anymore. Give up now and I'll go easy on ya. Okay, so he's down. Let's regroup. And we should be able to take out this guy. Silently. Without any problems. Obviously, he caught us sneaking, but the rest should not. You don't know who you're messing with. Yes. And then Magnus. We'll get as close as we can. Okay. And then. Borman should be able to finish the job here. Uh, put Borman right there. Got his pistol out. Okay. Nice and silent. Alright. We're gonna regroup. So here's where we can go around the other side, or we can go up on top here. It's really up to how you want to handle this fight. I think there's a couple more we could possibly pick off. So let's try and go around the other side first and see if we can get any more solo. And then we'll start this big old gigantic fight. Day, day 115, not seen sunlight, showing signs of vitamin D deficiency. We set ourselves to keep going, both mentally and physically. Arguments are frequent with some escalating to violence. If only Ollie would let us f let us out for an hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I guess being cooped up down here would be a problem, wouldn't it? All right, so I believe this hallway is what we want to take. Okay. Yep, here's a butcher we can take out solo. He should be all by himself. So we'll just have Pharaoh run straight up in here. And then switch our weapon. That's right. That's right. That's right. Man, Magnus can move. Alright, Borman, can you get within 100% chance? Thank the Lord. Done. Okay. Hey, so, oh, there's some more stuff right there. All right, so now, when we do start this fight, 
we are going to want to take out that, um, we're going to want to charm the shaman, because we don't want him to summon more people. If he summons more people, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But I think we can get up here and solo kill one more guy, but I'm not 100% sure. Come on, Hunter, turn around. Let us get at least to where we can take you out. He has 24 health. Um, so there's a very, very good chance. And if we were to hit him right here and knock him down, um, he would fall and alert everybody else. So I'm going to wait for him to come back. And then what I'm going to do is walk up and then knock him down with Borman. And then we're going to silent kill him. And hopefully not alert anybody else. Hopefully. So let's see. Where's he going? Even better if we can get up here. That is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So now a Borman... We should not be knocking him down anywhere. And it still should be quiet. So, yep, I think we're okay here. And this will give us the height advantage to take out everybody else. Um, which I think we'll be able to do pretty nicely here. Okay, or not. I did not expect him to hear us. That's a little lame. Oh boy, now he's going to summon new guys. Great. Oh man. Well, that is a problem. I was not expecting that. That uh, okay? It's all good. It's all good in the hood. All right. So, can we get a charm off on the shaman? Perfect. Okay. All right. And then let's get Borman. Still has a hundred percent chance to kill that guy. Okay, and then Faro, definitely want to be in some kind of cover with her, we're already on fire. Okay, so with this guy, we're just going to make him the target of everybody so they fire on him. What? Since when's there a hunter down there? Where'd that guy come from? not see that guy down there. Oh, Faro, you're fine. Sweet! move here. Can I hit this hunter right below me? Please say I can. Thank you. Get stupid. Okay, shaman boy. 
I really want these guys to try and hurt you. Looks like we're going to be using some med kits, that's for sure. We have to knock down the shaman. He's gonna summon more guys. Alright, so let's walk first. And then let's knock him down. Are you kidding me right now? Oh man. Overwatch. Oh, thank the Lord. Please work. Thank you. Nice. There we go. We're taking so much damage, though. Yeah, get in there. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we need. on these two. Double Overwatch here. Overwatch. Overwatch. Come on through. Oh, that's not good. Goodbye. Come on, next guy. Come on through. Get shot in the face. <laughs> oh, so good. But I took too much damage. Okay. Well, there you go. So let's clean this up. Everyone took a little damage. I wasn't expecting that pyro to to get into the fight and start the whole thing, but it worked out pretty good. I just didn't know that pyro would do that. So let's go around here. Let's collect what we can collect here. Um, hopefully, yep, there's a med kit. Thank you. You both got shot in the face trying to move. There's not much else in here. We've already cleaned this out. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got in this chest. Uh, another immune to crit. Nothing really that great. A smoke grenade, and I think that's all she wrote. So let's talk to this fella. Oh, my saviors, saviors, dirty little saviors. I wish I washed my hands so I could shake your hands and paws or, or whatever's growing out of your arms. I'm not racist, I'm not. Please, tell me your names. You need to take a breath and calm down. You're the only survivor of your community. Your brain must be a little fried. And what we're trying to ask you is, did you lose your mind? Because your eyes are whacked. No, no, Wagtub. 
I'm Emma, Emma the cook. I'm the one who cooks and cleans for the pretty, pretty people. They were pretty. For decades, we hid from the zone. We were safe until the ghouls found a way in. You first hear the screams, and then the lights went out, and you can hear the scraping and the chewing. Hey, I'm no warrior. I'm just a cook, you know? Eva, dirty little coward. We thought the last settlement was the Ark. We didn't know you existed. Well, you've got to get out of the Ark more, mate. Get some exercise. We should get you out of here. Wait a minute. Did you say Ark? Oh, boy. You don't want to hear this. You really don't want to hear this. They kept saying they were gonna destroy the Ark with some, uh, uh, uh weapon uh, that they're bringing to their masters, uh, some weird religious shit. They want to blow up the Ark and kill everyone inside. Everyone! Listen, these ghouls have a lair to the north. Their leader is called the Grey One. They're just multiplying up there, breeding like zone rats. Please, please do something about them before it's too late. All right. So that's all she wrote for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that pyro kind of made things a little bit difficult. We may have to waste some of our heals before the next round here, but we will let you know. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Van from the Vaniverse Gaming Channel. Cheers and peace out.